In this video, you'll see how to integrate AWS Systems Manager Ops Center with Amazon CloudWatch alarms. With this capability, you can automatically create ops items when an alarm is triggered, allowing you to centrally manage operational issues and simplify the remediation process. Ops Center can integrate with CloudWatch alarms by generating an operational work item or ops item when the alarm triggers. To see how, let's start by navigating to CloudWatch. For the purposes of this example, let's create an alarm for an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instance that will trigger whenever CPU utilization is above a certain threshold. We'll set our threshold value at greater than 60% of maximum CPU utilization. Next, let's configure the actions for our alarm. We'll first remove the notification action and then add the Ops Center Ops Item action. Next, we'll define the severity level and category of our ops item. We'll give the alarm a name. We have successfully created our CloudWatch alarm with an ops center ops item attached. Let's fast forward to when a second alarm has been created for a different metric. Now that we have two CloudWatch alarms, we can create a composite alarm. Let's retain these settings, which specify that the composite alarm will be triggered if either of its two child alarms are triggered. Again, let's remove the notification and add the ops item action. Let's retain the default severity level and change the category. Now let's see what happens when one of our alarms reaches its alarm state. The CPU utilization alarm has triggered, causing the composite alarm to trigger as well. Let's head to Systems Manager Ops Center. We can see two ops items in Ops Center. Let's open the ops item associated with our EC2 CPU utilization alarm to view more details. The Overview tab includes ops item details. We can see a description of the event, the date it was created, its status, and metadata of the ops item. We can also edit it. Instead, let's move on. In the Related Resources section, we can see the CloudWatch alarm we created and the EC2 instance being tracked by the CloudWatch alarm. We can add, edit, or remove any AWS resources related to the ops item as well as run any automation documents we have available. The Related Resource Details tab provides in-depth information about both the CloudWatch alarm and any associated resources. Right now, the CloudWatch alarm is selected, and we can view timeline graphs and logs related to the metric being tracked. For instance, this graph shows exactly when our resource has passed our alarm state threshold, as well as information about its current state and other resource information. In the History pane, we can view the events that correspond to our CloudWatch alarm entering or leaving the triggered state. We can view diagnostic information from enabled services such as AWS Config or AWS CloudTrail without switching consoles. Let's filter the page to see details for the EC2 instance that's being tracked by our CloudWatch alarm. As you can see, details are tailored to the resource type currently being viewed. Similarly, we can also view metadata related to the EC2 instance. Notice that the instance type is t2.micro. Here, we can view any CloudWatch alarms that are tracking metrics of the EC2 instance. We saw above that the EC2 instance is t2.micro. 
To resolve the CPU utilization, we will resize the instance to T2.large. Let's run an automation to do that and resolve the issue. Let's go back and view the automation status. Our automation has successfully completed, and our instance has been resized. By creating an Ops Center action in CloudWatch, we were able to diagnose and remediate this operational issue entirely within Ops Center without having to switch consoles. To learn more about Ops Items or Ops Center, you can click either the Learn More link in the blue banner at the top of the page or the Configure Sources button in the Ops Items pane. The Learn More link in the CloudWatch Alarms pane opens the relevant AWS documentation. You've just seen how to integrate AWS Systems Manager Ops Center with Amazon CloudWatch Alarms. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.